Well, hey everybody, we're here once again at Antlers Fireside Grill, Canadian Lakes with Jim Wood. Jim, we got some shrimp, we got, I believe, walleye here. What are we gonna be doing today? Yeah, so we're gonna make a shrimp mousse, so it's gonna be walleye stuffed. Nope. Uh, or, I'm sorry, shrimp stuffed walleye. Okay. And you can use any filet you'd like. I mean, as long as it's gotta be thin enough to where it can roll up. This one's almost too too thick, because that's, okay. that's the only kind I catch, so it's kind of hard for me to control that. So you could you could do perch. I mean, you could have a couple perch fillets there. Or they'd they were, be the they'd have side. to be really big, okay? Because um, those small ones will take a little time. The walleye, walleye uh, white fish, uh, you know, like a smaller trout would work okay. really well. So. And what are we gonna do here with the blender? How do we get this so going? We get our shrimp in there. And these are obviously uncooked. These are uncooked. Yep. yep. Okay. A little bit of salt. That's it. That's it for right now. So once those get broke down a little bit, and then we're gonna add, I've got two egg whites here. Okay. And we don't have our little burner, so we're gonna be doing this in the oven, it looks like? Yep, basically it's, it's roasting, but it's steaming, because we have some white wine and some water and some fresh herbs in there. Okay. Next, slowly add in the cream and continue to mix until you reach a consistency that is similar to a thick gravy. Then add a little salt to your fish and apply the mixture to what was the skin side of the filet. That's it, eh? For the most part. Um, now we've got to roll it up. And what happens is, is, it, okay. is this, uh, the shrimp flavor as it's cooking kind of permeates the fish. Yeah. So. Wow. So that's why I want it to be kind of thin, because if you had a big thick filet, that'd be pretty tricky. Yeah. And you're gonna take it seam side down you're gonna add it. So like I said, I've got water in here. I've got some fresh thyme. I've got some bay leaf. Okay. Then are we doing anything to this right as is or not? Yeah, we're just gonna hit it with a little more salt. And then we're gonna cover it with some tin foil and it's gonna go into a 350 degree pan, or oven. For about how long? It all depends on the thickness of the fish. I mean, this, this one's probably going to take 10 or 15 minutes, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's, that's in a restaurant oven. A, a, a home oven's going to take a little longer. So. All right. See you when it comes out. Wow. And then what are we doing here for sauce? So this is a jalapeno tartar sauce that we make here at the restaurant. <clears throat> It's not spicy. We use pickled jalapenos, so it gives okay. it a little more uh, acid, a little more tang. And what are we calling this dish? So this is shrimp stuffed walleye with asparagus and jalapeno tartar sauce. Looks good.